yeah, I started DJing uh, when I started going to raves, which was like in 2000, 2001, and I just really, I, I was intrigued by DJing. I wanted to know what they do. It was such an intriguing thing when you're at a rave and you and you're watching the person like control the dance floor. And I, I wanted, I wanted to be that person. I wanted to know what they were doing. Uh, so I bought some decks and then I DJed for like um, five or six years, kind of mainly in my bedroom. But then I decided um, I wanted to make a show. I wanted to make something that was different to what other DJs were doing. I wanted to make something that was uh, fun and silly and didn't take itself too seriously. So uh, I made Hot Dub Time Machine. something I got told by a good friend a while ago, you, you've got to be yourself on stage. I can't stand there and pretend to like a song if I don't. I am who I am and these are the songs that I like. When it took a long time for me to find my own style and Hot Dub Time Machine is my own style. Me and my wife, we have like a saying about things that if it's worth doing, it's worth making needlessly complicated. Don't stop doing that until it's absolutely the way you want it to be. I put everything I can into it and we do nothing but work on it and refine it. Uh, but in the end, it's just me playing music. What I've learned out of Hot Dub Time Machine is there's no good or bad music. There's no guilty pleasures. There's no cheese. Just good songs that make people happy and they're made all the time. And it just depends on your open-mindedness as to how willing you are to accept that. My dad thought that no good music was made after 1969. A lot of people in their 30s say that nothing good was made after the mid-90s. I think it's one of those things like no music hits you as hard as it did when you were 18. You can have 15-year-olds and 65-year-olds in the same crowd singing along to the same songs uh, because those songs are ageless. The way that we listen to music is quite isolated now. Like 90% of the time I'm listening to music, I'm on my headphones and I'm shutting out the world outside. But then like you go to a gig and all of a sudden you're in a room full of people when that music combines you with other people. It's such a group experience. Like when you sing along to your favorite song and then you realize the person three meters away from you also knows every word to that song. And before you know it, another 500, another 1,000, another 10,000 people all know the words as well. It's a really euphoric experience. The music is that thing that grabs us beyond our rationality. Just singing along at the top of your lungs is a, is a great thing. It's a celebration of music.